when I heard that Echo the Dolphin was getting a sequel, I couldn't believe it. Growing up and running with my parents over to Blockbuster to rent the game, I remember one time, yes, one time I picked Echo the Dolphin. The game was so fucking hard. I, I couldn't get past the first stage. Mind you, I was like five, but I regress. The game haunted my dreams. You're probably wondering, how is Echo related to the shark and Man Eater? It's not a sequel. Okay, sure, Maneater was developed by Tripwire and Blindside Interactive while Echo was developed by Sega, but I'm not stretching here. I'm going to lay out some facts that may convince you otherwise, or at least it's a good tale to tell your friends of some crazy video you watched, so put on your tinfoil hat and let's begin. Echo opens up with him being challenged by a pod mate on how high they can jump. While Echo makes his jump, a giant water spout forms and sucks up all marine life in the bay. Except Echo, of course leaving him alone in the bay. On this journey, he stumbles across some other sea life and finds out about the existence of Atlantis, where he discovered an ancient library filled with glyphs and crystals filled with information. In this information, he discovered that every 500 years, the planets aligned and an alien vortex harvests the water from the Earth for themselves. With this knowledge, Echo travels back in time to fight these alien thieves and set the future right. This is my first point here. In Man Eater, your shark can evolve drastically to something we have never seen before with the powers not from this world. My theory is, during the fight with the aliens, he was genetically altered from the time traveling and alien shockwaves, altering his DNA. Dolphins are known to be the only sea animal when in pods to fight back and beat up sharks. Well, a descendant or even Echo himself, however, was caught alone one day and became a victim to the mother shark at the beginning of Man Eater. Shortly after, Mother Shark becomes pregnant with the shark you take control of in the game. This is a story of the ocean fighting back. The efforts of Echo was mitigated by nature and the balance needed to be course corrected with Man Hungry Shark because let's be real here, humans are destroying the oceans as we speak so it was time in a new way for the ocean to fight back. With this first threat I lay out here, you are starting to see the dots I'm connecting, but wait, there's still more. Did you ever wonder when you were playing Man Eater why you didn't come across any dolphins? Come across alligators, catfish, whales, an abundance of sea life, but no dolphins. Kinda odd, right? Let's go back to thread one. Dolphins were the initial catalyst of the story. They placed this whole thing in motion by defeating the aliens, then making the ultimate sacrifice in turn to have sharks, or a shark, fight back against mankind. The inclusion of dolphins would fight against the narrative if we were murdering the first protectors of the ocean, right? This paints the picture that the ocean life aspires and are grateful for the dolphins, especially due to Echo. So far we have covered how Echo saved the ocean against the aliens, Echo's DNA then altered by his circumstances which in turn getting eaten by Mama Shark. Mother Nature or some sort of higher power placing all these pieces into action to fight against mankind to save the ocean once again. So let's move on to my last piece of evidence, the Grotto. The Grotto is where you take your shark to upgrade and change your evolution. If you look closely you can see where the vortex was taking place in Echo. It can only make sense that the location to alter your DNA is tied in with the alien technology. This grotto at the start of the game with all the debris around that kind of shows that something had to happen, right? We also have what looks like a closed hall, the vortex location possibly. Man Eater isn't new to having easter eggs, for instance the pineapple from Spongebob is located in the game as well. Now I understand I'm probably stretching and this is no way actual reality, but it was kind of a fun little experiment. These two games are so far separated, but if you go looking, you can kind of find ways to connect them. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If so, hit that like. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Until next time, keep the oceans clean.